Guys, we are waiting for our pizza, but in the meantime, we will be answering your questions. We are back with another Q&A, so let's get on with that Q&A. Eh, 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 eh. Okay, yeah, let's go. Right, this is a rather long one, so I'll read it quick as speedy, I can. Speedy, speedy, speedy. Hi, hope you're well. Inshallah, I've been in a relationship for eight years, approaching nine years, and why are people in relationships that long? I don't know, that's quite long actually, really long. If you know you're going to be with each other that long, just get married. And we have been trying to get married for years, but our families are not allowing it. Oh, okay, my it's bad, my bad, exactly. my bad. Don't sorry, judge a book sorry, might sorry, come sorry, up. sorry, my bad. Toba, toba, toba. But our families are not allowing, we have a huge barrier in our way and it's preventing us from doing anything. It's come to a point where we don't know what to do. We have made our lives get, got, we have made our lives got our careers. Hmm? We have made our lives got our careers. Where? We have made our lives got our careers. We what have made mean? our lives got... Okay, That's why I just read, lover. That makes sense, yeah. Alhamdulillah, but nothing seems to change our family's mind. Nothing, nothing. Has, he said nothing. Nothing. <laughs> My partner has been pastoring me for the last three years to do our nikah and the mosque and then just tell our families No, 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 you can't do that, man. I'm, I'm not keen on the idea of this, uh, idea of this and really, I really don't want to have to be forced to take that step. The biggest barrier is my elder brother. My brother made up lies about me and my partner and fed these vicious lies to my parents who think he walks on water. They religiously believe him. I think is that, is she talking about uh, Dynamo. <laughs> I think so. And my older sister isn't much help. She's very shel selfish. Selfish. Selfish, and is out for her own. I've asked her to for help, but she flat out refused. Go the on. biggest barrier is my oh flipping hell. It came. It all came out to blows last year when I was involved in a horrible accident and was bedridden for months. Astaghfirullah. During this time I was not allowed to do anything. My brother announced he was getting married to a girl of his choice. I was happy for him till I found out she was younger than me. I'm a year younger than my brother and he had been seeing this girl for the same amount of time I've been seeing my partner. The hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. I didn't attend, I didn't attend any function. I know it sounds silly, but I felt utterly betrayed. How come my family allow him to marry out of choice, and for me, it is forbidden? That makes sense. During because probably Indian, isn't it? The daughter has to get married to whatever they say, and then son, you know what nah. I mean? During my time at the hospital, my brother had called over my partner and his dad and told him that the mar this marriage was never going to happen. That's horrible, man. That my partner has done this, and that I had, I had to idea this happen. I had to idea this happen till I found out. From my partner months later. Me and my partner had lost contact when I had my accident around seven months later. We met through a friend of his. It's been really hard for us to come to terms with everything that has happened, the betrayal and the trust we had in our families. We don't know what to do. We keep arguing about this and it has resulted in, in one of us threatening to walk away. We have made it this far. We can surely make it to the rest of our lives, inshallah. Please tell me what to do. I'm so tired of this and I'm in a breaking point. I'm at a breaking point. Can you give me some advice on what to do? Zerkula Kir. Okay. P.S. I wish to remain anonymous. P.S. Mashallah, New Year's Brother, truly stunning couple. Mashallah, Mashallah. Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Okay, so my. Oh, man. That was a long email, Missy. Oh, he's your brother play that, man. That's so horrible. Okay, so let me just give you my. Alright, 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 alright. Um, I wanted to say, I know this might, I don't want to start it on a downer, but if you guys been together for eight, nine years and there's always conflict in the way, it might be a sign from Allah telling you that it's not the right one for you. I don't mean to sound like a downer, but if it's not working out, even though you want it so much to work out, there must be a reason why it's not working out. I mean, it's not fair that the fact that your brother snitched on you and he made you look like a... He made man. you guys look bad. Typical the elder brother, isn't it? And then he got to marry the, per the person that he wanted to and you didn't. That's not fair at all. But if you guys have been, if you guys have been together for eight, nine years and something... And family are not getting along together and stuff is happening between you guys. It might be because it's men and... Um, 
and even if you don't want it to be meant like we want like in this life we might want something but Allah will take it away from us because it's not good for us or maybe he has well, someone from a beautiful wife and maybe he has something better for you in, in, the, in the future so keep that in mind I would say praise to her if you haven't already but consider that if, if it's causing so much trouble in your life is it worth fighting for? But what the heart wants, the heart wants in it. Yeah, I agree. No, you know what I mean, I, like you said, you fought for it, you argued, you caused so many mayhem because you want him and you love him. I am so. Anyways, um, now he's left me. It's really awkward, but I am just still gonna talk. Um, I, I don't know what to say. It's a bit of a hard one because you guys have been together for so long, but stuff hasn't worked out. Um, please do pray Sahara and maybe speak to an imam of a mosque they usually help you and they give you the best advice because they know what to do and kind of what scenarios to deal with they've, de they've dealt with so many scenarios and obviously they grow go through all of that so definitely speak to them about it speak to an imam about it they have the best advice um, I was just giving them advice speak to an imam because mm. imam is important yeah. they'll have the best advice and the best scenarios for different situations because obviously a lot of people go up to the imam and tell them about the situation and scenarios they've gone through um so yeah that's the best ad advice i could give you what would you say i think like you said if these signs are happening then you know it's not because what, what's gonna happen after you get married okay if, okay you, you, you'll get married yeah what's gonna happen after you get married if you're gonna cause this these things gonna happen when you well while you're married then you inshallah not but like it's gonna be much harder then to break up you know what i mean and only that like i'm not encouraging to break up but have uh, a look at it have a sit down uh, have a deep thought have a deep think on what you want to do because even if your families are causing arguments between you guys now what's gonna happen in the, in the future do you know and you don't want that life where it's always gonna be like oh I don't know what to do and um, fighting all the time and stuff like that because you don't want a life like this this is this is strictly not we're not telling you to just forget it or but leave it or not. on Trust the me. other hand you guys been together I understand where you said that you guys been together for so long so we yeah. don't want to break it up I understand I totally get that because you guys have literally went through so much together nine years is a hell of a long time you've yeah, like seen each other man. grow basically and um, I salute you for that. That's so amazing to reach to that point. Mm -hmm. But um, please do pray to Hara and do speak to Imam. And um, I hope you get good signs and I hope it works out for you. But Inshallah. don't, don't. I don't want to give you hope because I can't lie to you and say that everything is going to be perfectly fine. Yeah. Be biased in a sense when you pray. Be open-minded and be like, I don't know if if I want to be, if this is going to work, but I want it to work. So kind of be biased in a sense, like you don't, you have nothing on your heart and nothing in your head when you pray. Mm -hmm. And then just literally close your eyes and ask Allah to guide you and help you and give you the right sign because it does no use of staying any longer in the relationship because obviously it's haram and, and the more day, harder it'll get for you. It's, yeah, it's going to get a lot harder and you're obviously, it's hitting you, you cause arguments and stuff. So, um, do do that, pray Sihara and just put all your faith in Allah because Allah will never let you down. Mm. Maybe he's kept you this long in a relationship because he's seeing how well you're coping and how well you're doing because maybe he will give you the person that you want to marry or maybe he won't. So just be open minded. I mean, you, this person could be the person that you, you get married you to. Well. You know what I mean? You, you will. Know. Inshallah, I'll, I'll, we pray that inshallah you will. You know what I yeah, mean? Everyone if that's the gets person along. you want, then yeah. Inshallah you will and you, you guys be happy, inshallah, like we are. You know what I mean? We got married to inshallah. each other, like willingly, our own choice. You know what I mean? Yeah. So inshallah, the same thing happens to you, but just have a deep thought about it. You know, think about everything in detail and you have to make a decision before it gets any longer and harder for you, you know? And don't. Don't think about, oh, I want to get married to him because I love him. Think about how it's going to be after marriage as well. Because marriage is a lifetime. It's not mm. a couple of months. It's not a year. It's forever. And I say that to every single person I give advice to. Because you have to really think about it. You have to like Definitely. measure the cons and pros. Pros and cons, I think that's, that's how it's said. <laughs> um, because it's important and it's not just a joke. It's Compromise and this and that, you know. You have to There's a lot to it. So really think about it. Think if like family are going to get along together and just think, really think about it because it's a massive thing. 
But um, nevertheless, please take our advice on board because we are looking out for you. We hope the best for you. Inshallah. Um, I hope this helps you in any way or form. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you soon. Peace. Peace. Pizza time. Pizza time. Bye. <laughs>